Hi, I'm Bharat Desai. I'm one of the uh, partners at Panorama, and I've been at Panorama for about 21 years, and my specialties are trauma, foot and ankle, and also sacroiliac low lumbar disorders. So what causes SI pain or what can cause it is if you've had a previous lumbar fusion, you can have a trauma, you could have fallen on your side of your hip, and also infections can also be at your sacroiliac joint or just arthritis. So the complaint is usually um, low back, but it's not at the center of your spine, it's sort of to one side or the other, and it's usually a pinpoint pain, and it, it feels like something is moving. The activities that can make SI pain worse, it's ambulatory activities, or if you're lying on your side, it can cause pain because that's a compression. Once we've diagnosed that this is an SI issue, um, there's a couple of different therapies we can do. Um, physical therapy is paramount because if it's just a muscle imbalance that's creating or weakness that's creating the SI pain, physical therapy will help with that. Part of the conservative treatments is also injections. The goal of the injection is to confirm that it's the SI joint. So why do we do three if we could just confirm it with one? The second injection is with a steroid. Sometimes it's just inflammation and it doesn't need surgery. So the second injection is with a numbing medication and a steroid. If it goes away, that's good. Um, if it persists and it keeps on coming back, then usually we get a CT scan, and if it's showing arthritis, we do a fusion of the SI joint. We uh, do it as a minimally invasive procedure, which is about an hour and a half of surgery and it's really through small incisions. We put in uh, this thing, this stuff called trabecular metal, which is a triangular dowel in three places. So three, three of these dowels correct rotation and they lock it in. This is not like an artificial implant that's foreign to your body. The bone grows right into the implant and it integrates with it. So it's a very, in a weird way, it's a mechanical way to heal it, but it's such a natural way to heal it. And it's way better from an infection standpoint because the blood supply goes through the implant. So the, the outcome of surgery is to, technically to stabilize the joint. But what patients like to know is, boy, the x-rays look great, means it's a stable implant, but I'm still having discomfort. So how long does that discomfort last? It, it varies. Typically it's three to six months. But after about a year, it's no different than any other fusion, you're pretty much at baseline. Once we do the implant, it's stable. That pain generator is gone, but we've got to condition you. You're, you're an out of shape athlete. So the therapy is huge. And how to walk straight, because before you're automatically walking so it's less tender, but not correct. Bad habits are hard to correct sometimes.